Welcome back to the Electricians 2 channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about my newest uh, tool, which is this Ideal Industries Digital Insulation Tester, model number 61-795. Uh, for your newcomers um, to the electrical industry and may not know anything other than uh, just a fluke or, you know, some other brand, Ideal Industries have been inclined. Some other uh, Ideal Industries have been around for a long time. Uh, at one time, uh, when I first started out, Ideal Industries, along with Klein and Fluke, were uh, two or were three of the main names that you heard about in the, um, in the electrical industries. Now, um, I have several Ideal test instruments and I have a lot of their hand tools as well. Uh, Ideal Industries is, uh, to me, I think is a reputable company. I think they make some really good products. I do, and you know, I'm do. I'm not saying for you to go out and get it, but I do think they make some uh, reputable, uh, you know, uh, products. And um, you know, for the most part, they stand behind their products, and um, they have a good customer service as well. Um, you know, I've, I've been dealing with Ideal Industries as far as their stuff for a long time. I've always uh, been meaning to get this installation tester. I have another one. I think it's a 795. I mean, 797, I believe. 61-79. Um, I think that's the one. 61-797. I think that's the, uh, the model number. But I do have a, a Ideal Industries installation tester other than this one that have more multimeter features than this do. But uh, I've been meaning to get my hands on one like this because um, I've never seen any videos about this one per se. But uh, I don't, you, you know, I, I don't know. I just been, I, I've always liked this one too. The, the one, this six one dash seven nine five. I've always liked one. So I just bit the bullet and say, well, I'm gonna buy myself one and got one. Uh, and I'm pleased with it. I am pleased with it. Um, so. It looks quite large, but and it, it is kind of big. It's not oversized or anything like that. It's really good for the hand. My hand, I have big hands. But it's it's a nice size. It really is. Give me a sip of coffee. And um, I like it. I like the, um, the large numeric display right here. I like the size of the screen. I like the functions. I like the rubber booting around the size. I mean, around, yeah, around the side of it. I have no complaints about this. I like the leads. I like the, the alligator clips come with it. And uh, the uh, test lead. Oh, no, oh, let me let you know ahead of time. These are not the leads that I have uh, that came with it. I do like the leads that came with it, but I just wanted it. I, I wanted some more instead. I wanted the, the ones with the straight on the end. So that's why I got some, some Pomona leads and I put on there these are the crocs that go with croc clips that go with it but these uh probes right here are not theirs um, um and, and so but they are some nice the test leads that come with it and probes they are nice i just choose to put these with it instead now um there are a lot of features on here you know uh for insulation testing and i think it's a really nice solid meter i do really think it's a nice solid meter um the basic multimeter function that this one do have is uh ac voltage dc voltage they have resist ohms and continuity and low ohms the test measurements are from 250 volts 500 volts and they have a thousand volts as far as the um they, it, it doesn't have pi testing polarization uh, index testing or DAR, DAR testing, which would be uh, dielectric absor absorption ratio testing. But you can perform no tests with it. You just have to watch the time yourself. You can lock it or you can press this button. Now you have to, this button, if you press this button, it locks it and it'll continue testing. Just continue testing uh, just, you know, while stopping until I guess the batteries run down or what have you, but it could have continuous testing. On the other side here is uh, for the backlight and to zero it out, to null it basically, to bring it, to it back, uh, default it back to zero. 
Now, um, you know, this is it's, it's not really, like I said, it's kind of tall. It's not r oversized or anything. It comes with this nice pouch right here as well. And this is how it looks. It's not really, for uh, the thickness of it, it's not. It's nice and slim. As you see, this is this is the back uh, the back of it, and I love it. Uh, all installation tests I do. I like to have my leads up at the top. I, there's something about that I really do like to have my leads up at the top, out of the way, from being at the bottom down here. I do like that. But this is a very nice. It takes um, six AA batteries, and um, it's not it's not really bad it, it, on batteries as well. Also, it don't chew up any batteries like talking about it. But this is a very nice uh, clamp. I mean, a very nice insulation tester. Um, so, in the other in another video, I'm gonna try to get to do some tests with it. In fact, I'm gonna even do a, another comparison with it against another um, insulation tester that I have that is about the same about the same size as this. And in fact, I don't know if this one has stole some uh, some of the features from the other one that I'm gonna put up in the next video, or the uh, the one. That that's gonna uh, I'm gonna compare it to have stole some of the features because this one had been out a long uh, been out a while and I'm, in fact I think it's been out before the one that I'm gonna compare it to but uh, I think uh, I don't know who stole what features from who but still I'm very impressed with this insulation tester um, you know even the, the functions here like if you want to right now it's on volts it's on voltage it's on AC voltage so you could put it, you could press right here and put it on DC voltage, as you see, on DC voltage. And if you want to put it on low ohms, you press it again, it kind of goes around. You follow the arrow, when you press it, it goes around. This one goes like this. So, uh, so right now it's on ohms. You press it again. Right now it's on 250 volts, a uh, test voltage. So it's going around counterclockwise. If you go from here and press down, it goes around clockwise. Now, let me just give you an idea. Right now it's on voltage. You jump back to voltage. Um, now it jumped to one to a one thousand volts, which will be right here. It should jump to five hundred next. Yep, five. Uh, oh no, I, I skipped it anyway. But it goes around clockwise. Let me get it right. Voltage. 1500 that's it 250 yeah continuity owns there you go voltage so and let me just give you guys an idea how the backlight looks we will turn this off it's a green backlight and it's it's okay it's not bad it's not but it's some you know it looks I know it probably looks really yellowish green and you know but it's not like that if you see it in person. It's a real, it has a real nice green, a real nice clear green. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. I wish it was white, but it's not. A white LED backlight, but it's not. Um, the bag is really nice. It comes with this nice pouch. And uh, it's big enough to hold a meter with the test leads and maybe you maybe you use a uh, you use a manual in here if, if, if that's what you need or want to bring with you. Um, but I like this meter. Um, I really do. I have no problems with it whatsoever. Um, now, if you were to buy, you may can find one used on eBay, maybe a hundred, a hundred, two hundred dollars, um, two fifty. You know, but I, you know, I have to. I, I want anybody buying things off of um, online from, uh, like, from certain users. Uh, there's a lot of scams going on on eBay, so just kind of watch yourself. You know, watch what you get. But um, I got this from brand new. I bought this brand new. So it, this is a real nice, a, a very nice tester like I just mentioned. But let me just give you an idea of how it looks. Uh, let me get this together. Okay. 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 
zero it out, put it on test. I mean, 250 votes to give you an idea what it does. There we go. Zero mega ohms. And um, it has auto shut off. It saves it for a few seconds. And um, I think it's going to turn off by itself. Well, that's going to disappear as far as the, uh, uh, the display of the, of the reading. And um, they have a bar graph up on the top that you can use. In fact, let me just show it to you. No, I think I have to hook it to something first. So let me try that. Let me see. There we go. The little bar graph at the top, and uh, they have a have a like a lightning bolt symbol, and. I just I just pressed the test button. It's giving me a greater than a thousand mega ohms. So uh, that would whatever if I was testing something, it would be good. That uh, as far as the reading is concerned. Um, so like I said, it's a very it's, it's it's a very nice meter. I like it. So I just want to give a give a, um, a, um, a little review of my tester. Uh, if this is your first time checking out the channel, I want to ask you to hit the subscribe button um, and hit the like button and leave a comment. And all that will be in support of the channel. It's for free. Help the channel grow. Um, so, if you do have a comment, leave it. And until next time, because I will have another video following this one, uh, just as soon as I get around to it, and I will be comparing it with another nice insulation tester also. So uh, until next time, I want to tell you guys, thank you, take care, be safe, and peace out.